What's going on guys? Today is another startup rant and I'm going to be telling you why venture funding is definitely overrated. You don't need to raise a round to succeed. Sometimes it might seem as though a startup's goal is to figure out how they can get to the next round of funding. You might even slip into the thinking that the seed, ABC ladder of this venture capital game is a given for business success, that it's something obvious you have to do in order to scale, but it's really not. No, the goal in building a great business should be to build the business itself, not to raise a venture capital round. If Shark Tank comes to mind when you think of startups or scaling a product, I'm sorry for your confusion. Number one, Shark Tank is a TV show. Any of the real business that goes on in that is behind the edits. Shows like Shark Tank give people the idea that when you're building a product, at some point you have to go seek out these great investors to make sure that your business succeed. But do you really have to? I'm not gonna get more into why Shark Tank is not real business, but the point is, in 2018, raising some large magical round of funding is not going to be nearly necessary for success. Don't you realize the whole point of getting a large investment or raising venture funding is to help your business succeed as a business. How did this all get flipped on its head? Venture funding is only a means, a stepping stone. Venture funding is one way out of the many ways to business success and venture funding or raising a successful round is definitely not success itself. The thing is, once you raise a round, a series A maybe, you will have to continue to raise rounds in the future if you want to scale because you're going to be caught in the venture capital loop. If you've successfully raised venture funding, you've already lost a chunk of your company to shareholders and you're going to have to continue to make decisions in their interest. Plus, in venture funding, ventures raise money from outside investors themselves called LPs and a venture firm is supposed to create a return of three times what was invested into it by the companies that the venture fund invests in. So it's just a big game of returns and you have to ask yourself if that's really something that you want to put your business into. If you want to go down the venture path, your business will be in it for the long term. It's a commitment, a choice, and it shouldn't be an obvious one. Plus, tools, technology, and information, it's all becoming more and more accessible. It's all becoming cheaper and cheaper. And you may not need venture funding. And soon, venture funding is going to become a whole different game. Who knows how much money you'll really need to get that initial kick to really launch your business. I'll admit though, there are times when raising capital makes sense. If you really need some leadership, you really don't know what you're doing. I mean, I'd suggest you'd stick it out and learn it along the way, because that's how anyone does it, but sometimes you do need some senior leadership. Um, maybe you're building some kind of hardware and you need revenue fast in order to build any kind of version that you can really test with real users. Maybe your business idea is tied to leasing space and you're going to have to pay a lot to rent some space in order to really market it and test it with customers. When you're building a business, revenue is essential. You have to make money to sustain your business, but venture funding, it's not. Your primary focus above all else should be building a great business itself. What will you do to solve a big and frequent problem? What will you do to create great value for your users and your customers? And how will you turn that value into revenue for yourself, your employees, and back into the business? These are the questions you should be asking yourself. Now, go do it. If you guys enjoyed this talk, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. And I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe for more startup advice, startup content, startup vlogs. And um, see you guys next time.